Europejskie, pani poseł Keller. Thank you. Migrants suffer not only from the loss of their home, from the long and dangerous journey, but also from the border policy of the European Union and the conditions they find here in a comparatively rich EU. The Member States and the Commission need to do their utmost to guarantee and protect the human rights of migrants, which are exactly the same human rights as of everybody else. A major obstacle for human rights of migrants are agreements with third countries with the purpose of holding back or sending back migrants. And the pushback practice of Italy has been condemned by the European Court of Human Rights. I wonder what consequences the Commission and the Council draw from the heresy judgment. This is also one of the questions we asked in our oral question. Agreements with countries like Libya have led to grave human rights violations. But instead of putting an end to this, the Commission is encouraging Member States to conclude more and more bilateral agreements with a Eurosur proposal. But an information exchange with third countries will lead to a holding back of migrants and to a de facto end of the right to asylum and, an oblig and the obligation of non-refoulement. The bilateral nature of those agreements will also exclude the European Parliament from any sort of co-decision and any sort of information. We should not let this happen in the European Parliament. The European Union needs instead of a fortress Europe, it needs to offer a real protection and the right to asylum. It needs to have a common asylum system and the Council should no longer block this very, very important undertaking that I think will enable us to have a proper and better asylum system in the European Union and to ensure human rights of migrants and everybody else in the European Union. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, in the group of Europe, Freedom and Democracy, Mr. Mario Borghezio. One minute. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, the President of the Government has blocked il, il continuo flusso e arrivo in una situazione che non consentiva certamente un'accoglienza degna di questo nome, anche perché...